All right, hi. Uh, we're doing an APID Army Correspondence Course Program, um, subcourse QM5127, Edition 5, Manager Patrolling Laboratory Safety Program, 101-5523-2253. Introduction to Management of the Patrolling Laboratory Safety Program. All laboratories are subject to inspection from the regulatory agency that inspects laboratories, including health official cities, state, federal governments, in addition with the representative of the Occupational Safety Health and Administration, Environmental Protection Agency, Post Safety Office, Fire Department, and Facility Engineering may also be expected. Depending on your laboratory's location, county in the United States, outside of the county in the United States, uh, the size of the base laboratory, mobile laboratory, mobile, um, mobile lab laboratory, and or air, ma air mobile laboratory, and or previous accidents reported, you may receive a visit from any one of the or all previous mentioned agency. The agency will check the different aspects of the laboratory safety program. All inspection will be inserted with your quarterly accident. Accident, re accident reports. The reports will pinpoint the problem areas, learn events from 1 through 3, and will give you an idea of the major ins items ins inspectors look for. Learning event one: Inspect the laboratory to define the existing and probable safety deficiencies. The aspect of the 92 so soldiers' responsibility is usually gained through the experience of the use of the existing field manuals, technical manuals, unit fire safety manuals, previous inspection reports, visit to another laboratory will help to familiarize the soldier who lacks the experience of safety program. Laboratories are standard, even though the size and the size of laboratories differ from both civil and military safety officers. Look, will look at the safety signs, safety of equipment, protective equipment, the storage of the samples and chemicals of the fire safety program, even though it is part of the safety program is not discussed in this lesson. Safety signs. All hazards must be identified whether they are visible or hidden. Appropriate safety signs must be posted where applicable conspicuous locations. Example of the common required signs are in the laboratory are exit, no smoking, eye protection must be worn, hearing protection must be worn, first aid station, eye watch station, safety shower, fire extinguisher. Safety equipment. Um, the severity of the accident can be minimized with the safety equipment used and it must be checked for serviceability on a routine basis. Example of the common required safety equipment are eye wash shower, fire extinguisher, fire blanket, safety shield, fume hood, first aid kit. Protective equipment must was not, was, uh, not designed to enhance the uh, appearance of the soldier is often effectively when used. The wearing of protective equipment is a mandatory example of the common required protective equipment are lab coat, lab apron, gloves, asbestos uh, protection against heat, rubber protection against acid, and disposable protections against chemicals. Eye protection, safety goggles, um, safety glasses, uh, approved face mask, eye protection, safety shoes. Stored samples of chemicals, cleanliness, and cleanliness, caution, common sense must be exercised, storing and handling petroleum products, five gallons of the gasoline or equivalent equal to 450 pounds of the dynamite. Um, the storage arm must be kept clean at the times of potentially most dangerous areas of the laboratory. The discarding of the yeast samples is governed by a local standing operation procedure of the local uh, laboratory's mission and storage space. Generally, samples are retained for 30 days. Special samples are retained for six months. Chemicals. Chemicals include solvents must be stored correctly. Store chemicals in an area consistent with their properties. Store violated materials in well ventilated areas. Store chemicals away from the other chemicals in which they will react violently. Examples of which the petroleum laboratory is strong acids which react on the strong basis of oxidizing agent which re with react with reducing agents. Poisonous materials. All poisonous materials must be clearly marked. Poison report to your supervisor any poisonous material that is not needed. Store area, storage area inspection. Check out the following inspection for storage areas. Any usual odor must be investigated. A Azels must be clean and uncluttered. Azels must be three feet wide. Shale shelves must be clean and uncluttered. Step the stools and ladders must be serviceable. Containers must be tightly capped. Containers must be labeled damage. Containers must be discarded. All slips and must slip hills must be wiped up. Sufficient amount of cleanup material must be on hand. Cylinders must be secured. Storage area must be ventilated. Storage area must have adequate lighting. Fire extinguisher must be on hand. Appropriate safety sign so must be displayed. No items on the store on the wooden pallets. Head bulk and the chemicals are stored on near the floor. Learning establish learning event number two establish the procedure to deal with safety hazards, storage, and hazardous chemicals in the laboratory. The following steps are involved with establishing a new procedure, identifying the problem, potential problem, evaluating the problem, and initiating action, presenting to the fire safety committee, incorporating it into the fire safety manual. Examples: Identifying the problem, you observe the technical turning in the, on, the, on the compressor. However, it is not wearing an eye protection. However, the, hearing the evaluating the problem, ask the technician why he isn't wearing the eye, wearing ear protection. Initiate the action. And if the soldier was unaware of the requirement, advise 
him that it is his uh, requirement the soldier forgot to wear an ear protection console the soldier. If the ear protection was missing, an unserviceable replace borrow one of the interim peer to the head of the supply order of two player present uh, presenting on the agenda at the next quarterly fire safety committee meeting the adoption and incorporate the fire safety manual. It is identified problem a new situation to take immediate corrective action that presents its fire safety committee. Lesson three training personnel accident present pre accident prevention procedures. During the initial interview with of soldiers first day he should be made with aware of the safety that is usually done by the non commissioned officer in charge or the NCOIC. Um the concern should must be shared with every soldier in the laboratory for the safety of the NCO. John, your job is to reinforce safety consciousness every quarter. You will be asked to take a get, give a safety class discussion rather than lecture are more be beneficial because the reports they require all technicians to take part. The discussion should include the review of the laboratory incident review heightens awareness becomes um, because it is current the closer the uh, to the home and the reinforcement between because it is my it may point out that something that be take regarding everything thought about. The discussion should answer the following questions. How did the accident occur? What did it occur? And how could it be prevented? The following provided with the example during the past quarter, the private Jones had to go into the emergency example of the room for the result. The acid burns to his fingers. The injury could have been worse, but it had been not for immediate action taken or another, another action technician. One day in the question, private Jones was performing two tetraethylide ethyl lead, lead testing. He stated that halfway through his test, his fingers started to itch, and then he started to burn. Special Smith had private Jones put his hand on under the faucet and run water on his hand for 10 minutes. He later transported to the private um, the private to the emergency room. How did the accident occur? Would the accident occur with the private gentleman was performing the evaporation phase of, of the test? He removed the watch glasses over his fingers um, rather than using tongs. What does the accident occur? The accident of the burned private Jones' fingers was present to the watch glass on the watch glasses. Nitric acid had evaporated then condensed in on the watch glass and he should be removed from the watch. Um, he should re be, have removed the watch glass on the pair with a pair of tongs. How could it have been preventing the careless due the in in ignorance and indifference of the slow, sl slovenly attitudes, although had the same report possible injury with the soldier? Ignorance of the technician should have been aware of the chemical reaction taking place, although the soldier has been trained, um, school trained, and had failed to use the proper laboratory techniques. He has violated another cardinal rule never attempt to perform more tests than you can handle efficiently or safely. Indifference to senior technology assigned him to supervise was not present, and when the senior technician is not required with, with a junior technician at all times um uh, he should be have been in a general vicinity. Slovenly attitudes the offense laboratory soldier becomes lax. Dishal due to the routine until a new technician gains experience. He can uh, accident prone, and that, my friend, was uh, managing a laboratory safety program 101 522 QM five one two seven managing petroleum laboratory safety program edition five.